Okay guys, so I just published the workhorse Excel files on Fingerverse. Okay, so this is basically a bigger version of the original workhorse. The only thing that's different is pretty much the size and the frame components, okay? The original workhorse is a modular machine, so it can be scaled up or scaled down, different sizes and configurations, and you can add different parts and different components, and it's supposed to be a modular platform, okay? Now, the problem is, once you get to a certain size and scale, you begin to lose rigidity through the frame. For those of you who actually want to actually really make the printer really big, uh, I redesigned the frame for more rigidity, okay? So this is it on finger first, the Workhorse Excel, okay? So it has all the files, uh, all the models, prints, it has a little video here on how we drew it up in 3D. It's open source, you can do whatever you want, you can change it up, uh, just, just please give attribution. Okay, so we have all the files on Fingerverse here. We also have everything on the website. I, I would actually go to the website first before Fingerverse because the website's gonna have more up-to-date uh, versions of the models. I, I don't know how how often I'll actually update stuff on Fingerverse, but it is on Fingerverse. Uh, I would suggest just going to 3distributed.com and it's under Workhorse XL and there's a tab called Workhorse XL Files. So you get the assembly file and, and pretty much what you're getting is we have step files of the actual, the actual assembly. So you're going to get the assembly, step file, then we have all of the individual components. Okay, You get the frame components, the gantry components, the electronics such as motors and etc. Uh, you get the bed and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you need. Uh, now, I would like to say that there's actually two versions of this, okay? So this is the basic uh, Workhorse XL. Uh, previously, we, we called this the Workhorse uh, 600X3, but we were putting ourselves in the box of the printer, you know, had a build area of 600 by 600 by 600 millimeters. Well, you know, this is a modular machine. Uh, so it can be scaled up and down. So yeah, pretty much, we're we're changing the name to Workhorse XL. We have a version right here. We actually redesigned for David Short. Now, what's different about this is pretty much it has a 600 by 600 uh, build area on the X and Y, and the Z was uh, I think it was 350. So it's a shorter version. Okay. Um, th this this has its benefits, okay. So you gotta think you, you need you need a very rigid system here. We have all of your workhorse Excel files on the website. You can download them. We still have to add a few more stuff, a few more files. If 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 there's anything that we're missing, just just email me Shane at 3dDistributed.com, and I'll make sure I get you the right information. Um, also got the information on your, your original workhorse printer. Okay, uh, pretty much it goes over all the parts. We now have a assembly manual. Yay, the assembly manual. I know it took took us long enough, but we had the workhorse printer assembly manual. Everything's looking pretty good. There's a couple more things we have to add and change. We're still fine tuning it as we go. You know, this is a work in progress. We we just published this printer uh, in the last year, more like the beginning of this year. Actually, we just started selling them in the beginning of this year. So, you know, all of this takes time. We're a small team. Uh, we can only do so much. I wish we could go faster, but this is this is where we're at right now. So this is the manual right here. And we have tons of videos on how to assemble the frame, how to assemble the gantry, all about the lead screw, about the duet Wi-Fi, how to install the Duet Wi-Fi and actually get connected to your router. So we have all the information you need. The manual still needs still needs to be touched up a little bit, but this is the manual so far. Let's go to the website right here. So this is all the information on the original workhorse printer. Okay. 
So I'm gonna go to Workhorse XO. We have a 3D rendering of it. You got your building materials. So I have a friend, Tom Leaf, okay, of Leaf Design. And he's building the XL right now. And, and he's one of the uh, pioneers on this new machine that we designed. And uh, I mean, remember, remember, guys, this is just a bigger version of the original Workhorse printer, okay? Workhorse printer is a proven platform. Um, if you want it smaller, we make it smaller. If you want it bigger, we make it bigger. Um, if you want to add a pellet extruder, you need a custom mount, no problem. If you want to put a CNC spindle on it and actually do milling, no problem. If you want a tool changer, we'll put a tool changer on it for you. Okay. Now, Tom Leaf is writing a blog. This is this is his WordPress right here. Um, so. Here's the address right here, and I'll post a link. But so here's one of the ones pioneering. This is this is his progress so far. He has the frame. He he made some changes. Um, so he actually made a base down here. So instead of putting the workhorse XL on a table, he actually made a frame actually lift up above the crown. So he doesn't need a table right here. And this is the stuff he went through. This is what it looks like currently. These are the extruders that he's using right here. So, I would definitely recommend reading his blog. And remember, here, here's a link right here. And uh, he's got some really good stuff. Um, we also, so we also made a smaller version of the Workhorse XL. We designed this for David Shorey of Shorey Design. Uh, we met him at Murph 2018. Uh, you might have seen him. Uh, he's been featured on 3D Printing Nerd and Tom 3D made a video about him and uh, the 3D Printing Professor has a video of him. Uh, but anyways, um, David Shorey 3D prints all kinds of wearables and stuff like that. Fucking me up, Kimchi. That's Okay, so we made a smaller version for David Shorey. Now, David Shorey, you may see him. He's been featured on uh, 3D Printing Nerd's uh, channel, uh, Tom 3D, uh, 3D Printing Professor. Basically, we met up with uh, David Shorey at Murph 2018, and uh, he was very interested. He needed a bigger platform. For his uh, for his projects he's working on, uh, so this is this is the machine we designed for him, and I mean all it is is Workhorse XL, uh, basic uh, basic platform with shorter extrusions. So your so your vertical extrusions are shorter. Okay, so you have these. So these extrusions right here is the only thing that's different, okay? And that's just because he didn't need the z-axis travel, okay? All this stuff's actually pretty short. Uh, basically, what he wanted to do was print a lot of small things at one time. Um, another reason why he liked the printer was because uh, basically the bed is fixed, okay? Now that is huge when you're trying to mount stuff to the bed, all kinds of fixtures, you know, and if you look at his projects, the way his, his process of actually 3D printing and, and making the stuff, uh, he needs a fixed bed. So this is what we came up for him, and we'll see, we'll see where that takes him. Okay, so a future things for the Workhorse XL. So, what we're currently working on is we're going to put some gussets in the corners of um, the frame right here so we can increase the work speed. When we start working on the gussets for the frame, one thing I want to do is uh, there's a uh, YouTube channel called Maker's Mike. Okay? So Mike Fisher, he has a really cool Cooler XY machine that he designed and built. And I really like, 
I really like the guesses he came up with, corner brackets. Okay, so if you get a chance, check out Maker's Mic. Uh, Maker's Mic has a really cool Core XY machine that he designed. And I really like the corner brackets that he used right here. And we'll probably do something like that. Right? You don't mind, man. We're going to steal your idea of your corner brackets. We really like your design. Don't worry. This is me giving you attribution right now. But, anyways, uh, wait for that to load up. So, there you go. So, Mike Fisher came up with these these uh, gussets right here. You know, nothing special, but I just really like that. I think something like that would look really cool on the workhorse, and we'll probably do something like that. Uh, Mike, if you don't mind, we're gonna kind of copy there. This is me giving you attribution right now. But, anyways, um, so definitely watch the Maker Mike's YouTube channel. This guy's hilarious. I love this guy. Um, another guy that you want to watch also is Country 3D. We met this guy at Murph. He does a lot of live streaming. He, he has a 3D printed Core XY that he built. I think it's, I think it's at Hypercube. And it, it's pretty neat. The whole frame is 3D printed. Instead of using aluminum extrusions, he has 3D printed extrusions. But definitely check out Country 3, 3D and check out Maker's Might. Both really good channels. And uh, yeah, met this guy at Murph and really cool guy. But that's it. If you're interested in the Workhorse XL, download the files. Uh, keep up to date on the website. And also, <clears throat> also we made a forum too. So definitely if you're interested in the Workhorse printer or the XL version, uh, become a member of 3D Distributed and just stay up to date on us. And catch you later.